Hi folks, Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are looking at some of the new features in version 17 of Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. New to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum is a transition that's kind of unlike any other transition the program has ever had. Normally you have a transition, a dissolve, or some kind of animation that moves from one event to the other. But the warp flow transition, let's find it here under the transitions tab. And if we just scroll down here, there's warp flow. And I'm going to just drag it between these two events on the timeline. Now, our first event is a close up of this little boy. The second is sort of a long shot of him. Now, warp flow is going to not just transition from one event to the next, but it's actually going to morph from one event to the next. So watch this. I'm going to drag it down onto the two video clips. And the cool thing about this, you don't even need any head and tail material as you normally would with a transition. It's actually just going to borrow the data and kind of squeeze it from one shape to the other. Now I'm going to set my quality in my monitor panel or my preview panel all the way up to full so that you can see it. And I'll play it and I, I think it'll play and then we'll scrub through it and look at it more closely. Here we go. Play it. And there we go. See, it didn't really play very smoothly because it's a pretty high level effect. It will look great once you render your video, but I'm gonna just move the playhead through here and scrub it. And you can see that we start out with the boy and then we actually warp or morph from that video. You can see it changing shape into the next video clip. So you get a really cool transition, unlike any other transition the program has had. So that's one cool new feature in 17. Another cool feature or tool is an effect. We have a short video clip here shot at a car show. Got a man looking at a car, but I shot this with a very, very wide angle lens. And one of the problems when you shoot with a wide angle lens is quite often you get a fisheye effect. That means that toward the center of the lens, things look larger than they do on the edges. And it kind of makes this car almost look round as we go around it. And take a look at the man in the background. He goes from a medium build here when he's in the center of the frame. As he gets off to the edge, he actually looks kind of skinny. Now I want to capture all the video in here, but I don't want it to get distorted. And that's when I use, if I go over here to my video effects tab, that's when I use the lens correction tool. We'll drag that down onto this event on my timeline. I can manually make adjustments, or if I go up here to lens model, I can simply select from a list of presets based on cameras and lens sets. Look at that incredible list, and it will automatically make the correction for me. That's pretty cool, but we're gonna make a manual correction here today. And I'm just gonna nudge Radial Distortion K1, the first slider, just nudge it a little bit to the left. It's not gonna take much, because you can see a little bit goes a long way. Just a little bit there. And look at the results here. Now our car doesn't look like it's kind of larger in the middle of the frame than it is at the edge. It looks like a car with straight lines. And even the man in the background doesn't go from medium build to skinny build as he reaches the edge of the uh, video frame. So a very cool tool for correcting issues that come up when you're using a wide angle lens, especially if you're shooting with a sport cam or a GoPro. Quite often they have a very wide angle lens giving you that fisheye effect. And this lens correction effect here will take some of the weirdness out of that picture. So a couple of uh, video effects, visual effects, brand new in version 17. So I know all about these programs and all the uh, new and existing features and tools in them, check out the moviepix.com guides. They're available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grusetti.